This video is specifically for the DNI and the SecDef. Just because you're presently working on completing the next UFO report, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't also be thinking about your future obligations, one of which I'd be more than happy to help you out with. And I truly think that I can bring something to the table that the entire IC and DOD can't bring. So let's talk about your future rapid response and field investigation team, because you're going to have to set one up because that requirement is in the National Defense Authorization Act. And it's gonna congressionally mandate that you set up a team that can rapidly respond to and conduct field investigations of incidents of unidentified aerospace undersea phenomena. And when you do those investigations, I'm sure you're gonna to wanna to talk to any of the witnesses of those incidents. And that's where I come in. Think about it for a second. If you were a civilian that just witnessed something that shook your understanding of the world we live in, would you be more comfortable discussing what you just experienced with stiff-suited, badge-flashing government agents? Or with that dude from TikTok that makes those videos about UFO stuff, who's infinitely more relatable to the general public than yourselves? So tell me, what's more disarming? This? Or this? Witnesses would be able to quickly and easily confirm who I am and check out the content of my character based on my social media presence which is something that you guys in Arrow honestly just don't do very well, as demonstrated by Arrow's two tweets in four months. And you don't even really have a presence on UFO Twitter. Or do you? And as an added bonus, if I was on the team, I'd be able to make short, concise videos summarizing what has occurred. That could be presented to you and help you get an understanding of the event quickly and easily. So consider this video is my application to join the rapid response team. Thank you for your time.